everybody welcome back to my channel today is well today is a sunday I'll show you guys what i do typically on sundays this is gonna be more of like a lifestyle lifestyle video I'll give you guys just a few not a lot request i do some more lifestyle stuff that's what i'm giving it i'm giving you lifestyle this is my kitchen i was going to make green tea but i decided that might be a little bit aggressive on the caffeine for a sunday i'm not going to do that Instead, i'll just opt for one coffee i'm going to go to the grocery store i'm going to go have a coffee a meal prep and that's really it i'm going to have first my green drink powder with a lot of probiotics prebiotics really good vitamins minerals all that fun stuff it actually tastes like good like i look forward to it every morning am i a health nut and that's just how I like get my day started. So I'm gonna do that. Next up is for sure, for sure, coffee. Reusable cup. I got an iced Americano with some almond milk. Literally my go-to. Now we see you. And I brought my reusable cup today. I feel inspired by all of those Instagrammers to start reusing my cup. Like, I don't do it often enough. I'm not gonna lie. What better day than a beautiful day like a Sunday? Really kick things into gear. Coffee. And grocery shopping. Just getting back from Whole Foods, which is my grocery store of choice. I'm gonna go through a haul. Honestly, y'all, cost me less than $50. Oh, there it is. Less than $50, okay? It was a little bit of a lighter haul today just because I have a lot of staple items that don't really go bad and I just kind of keep around in my pantry or in the fridge. This is the generic what I buy every single time I go to Whole Foods. Excuse me. And we're gonna go over that right now. First things first, let's just lay it all out. So what I have first up are these, if you got the spring mix and the baby spoon. Was this upside down? There we go. And this I just like adding to my lunches as like a little bed, a starter. Just have a little bit of extra fresh grease because otherwise all my other stuff in there is roasted. Um, I have protein in there. And so it's nice to have a little bit of freshness, if you know what I'm saying. For dinners, I love making like sauteed kales and peppers. And normally every other week they have this on sale at Whole Foods, which is really, really nice. All of this is organic. And again, all of it was organic, it was under 50 bucks. So. And it's gonna feed me for a week, so that's always great. Honey crisp apples, because you all know honey crisp apples are the best. I have my little broccoli florets, y'all. I'm obsessed with broccoli. I'm obsessed. You could absolutely buy these not bagged and not pre cut, but I'm lazy. So I like to buy them bagged and I literally just like throw them on a pan. Olive oil, just roast them, and they're super easy. Brussels sprouts. One of my favorite things ever. I got multicolor this week just because I was feeling crazy. It's and I just cut them in roasted as well. They're nice to add and shave like into a salad. Bananas, my morning protein smoothie shake, whatever you want to call it. I've been addicted to it for about a month now. It's like a mocha plant-based protein smoothie. Bananas are a must. Paleo CBD banana bread recipe. It's linked in the description, or I'll put it up somewhere over here. I use bananas, so that's why I like. If you don't like bananas, I don't know what to tell you. One of my favorite things. One of my favorite things. Japanese sweet potatoes, okay? They're amazing. They crisp up really nicely. They're not as sweet as sweet potatoes. They have a little bit of like nuttiness to them. Nutty. I don't buy other regular sweet potatoes, because after I've had these, the other ones just don't even compare. Speaking of peppers, here we go. She's beautiful. She's very red. She's organic. I buy this ground turkey. Organic ground turkey, simple, delicious. And it is. It tastes like ground turkey, y'all. Sometimes I like this a little bit better than buying chicken breast and chopping it up. Just because it's a little bit faster to cook. Or what I'll really do, add this to chili. 
maybe I'll do that this week. Thoughts? Again, super simple haul this week. This is all the stuff I bought that was under 50 bucks. And now I'm going to show you what I have as staple items at all times in my pantry. Stay tuned. Okay. These are my staple items. Again, these are things like snacks, canned beans, sauces, can have on hand. They're really never going to go bad, or I just go through them, and I don't need to buy them every single week. But first up, almond butter. I just get this one from Whole Foods. It's the 365 brands. Ingredient is dry roast almonds, so I love that. So make sure to look at your ingredients, especially on nut butters, because oftentimes they sneak in other sugars or additives or thickeners and it's just unnecessary so this one in bulk because it also goes in my morning smoothie Stick with the sweet stuff i'm obsessed with these thunderbird bars chocolate and the reason i'm obsessed with them is one there's no added sugar they're only sweet with dates two the how they get the chocolate flavors they just add in cocoa powder genius this one is chocolate cherry almond we have a raspberry espresso and then an almond butter sea salt. Freaking delicious. I love Thunderbird, they're a local brand and I just love supporting them. They're just really great people. We have some canned beans, y'all, canned beans. I like making a little Mexican bean mixture there or I'll add these to chili, of course, but I literally buy these in bulk and just have them in the pantry because you just never know. When you want beans, these by Tolerant. Red lentil penne. This is um, by far my favorite. They have a few other like green lentil and uh, different, what's the word? Different pasta shapes. But the penne I found it just holds up better. I like the consistency of it. I like the texture of it. I have like two or three boxes in the pantry and I'll just have these for also if I wanna go more of like a plant-based meal. This is a really great way to do that. I have to give a huge mention to Siete, of course. These amazing hot sauces. They're good in the morning on your eggs. They're good for like a taco night. They're good for just dipping a chip in. They're good for just taking a little swig out of to wake yourself up in the morning. Not really, but again, local brand. All their ingredients are so good. Again, there's no added chemicals. There's no added sugars. They just keep it super simple, and I love them for that, and huge fan, huge fan of the brand. Lastly is another local one. It's called Barrel Creek Provisions. Recently been adding sauerkraut back in the mix. Like when I was a kid, when you said like, Mm, sauerkraut to your mom would be like I'm eating sauerkraut I would be like that's disgusting I, I'm a mom you couldn't even see my foot I love adding it at night I of it I like the vinegary aspect of it and this one tastes really really good and again no additives y'all always look at your ingredients the simpler the better and that's it for my grocery haul. Super simple, I try not to complicate things. Sometimes I'll get snack items, like little chips and dips here and there, but I really just try to stick to the basics. That's where it leads me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like this, give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because it supports me and all of my beautiful groceries that I buy. If you wanna see more daily updates, follow me on Instagram at Spin City. That's where I kind of post a lot more day to day of what's going on. Here on YouTube, I'm only posting once a week. If you guys want to see more grocery hauls, if you want to see more meal prepping along the nutrition food aspect, please let me know in the comments below, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!